Okay, uh, round three is about to start. We have Andrew Cohn, and I hope I didn't say that wrong, and Ryan Benner. Alright, I'm going to be joined with Jimmy O'Brien on commentary. See it to me because he wanted to go get lunch. Okay. Okay, I'm here with Jimmy O'Brien. How's it going? I uh, feel like I look filthy and I'm so sweaty today. I'm glad to join you on camera anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So you had a bad day today. I, I did. Uh, so for those of you that aren't aware, the Philadelphia Marathon is going on today. And that means that if you are on the wrong side of a certain river, what's normally a five minute drive can turn into a 50 minute drive or, or more. So uh, I left before the store was open, before registration had started, and I arrived uh, just after the cutoff. So, a li little grapey about that, but it, it is what it is. Uh, just now, I sat down for my third round, and my opponent wanted to go get lunch, so he conceded to me. Very nice, uh, but uh, it's, I'm not making cut with that anyway. I just get to hang out with Angel here instead. Now, do you know any of these players? I recognize uh, Ryan, but... Uh, Okay. Okay. I I, I uh, rec recognize Ryan. I do not recognize Andrew. Okay. I always think the psychology of play mats is really interesting. Uh, my I recently went to a big Yu-Gi-Oh event and I brought a the cardboard play mat they recently uh, inserted into some of their, their things. People are so on tilt like, oh, uh, like, like it, it switches from oh cool I get to play this idiot to oh I have to deal with this trolley person. <laughs> now do you think that um, matters more in Pokemon that more people get affected by um, seeing I, a play mat? I I don't know. I think I react a certain way when someone doesn't have a mat. But I'm not sure that I okay, yeah, like it's it's, it's a it, it's coupled to other thing other factors. No, um, Andrew Mulligan showing an electric. I did get to see what Ryan had. Um, I think I saw a blend in Ryan's deck. So I, and I, th I think it's the the Gurpty one. I saw. I'm seeing a shuffle. I'm seeing a dark patch random receiver. Okay, so it looks like you'd be a hydrogen. Hydrogen. So it, it's it's like we're watching Battle Roads. Yeah, hydrogen versus electric. Now the question is. What type of electric deck is Honestly, it? I've seen so many eels in these past two days, but I, I've seen so much uh, Landorus. It just doesn't make sense to me. It, like, yeah, okay, fifty percent of the field is Landorus, and you're you're just living on the razor's edge with this Tynamo stuff. So you went to um, City Championship yesterday. Um, yes. How did you feel like the meta game was? So what was the more popular deck? Uh, I, I think just there's all sorts of different pairings you're going to find of the big basics, which is probably reminiscent of like the SP formats. And uh, then there was Garbodor, there was Hammer Time, uh, there's Hydreigon, and Eel's mid cut. There's also Keldeo Blastoise, which it's it's kind of like, oh, of course that deck showed up, but no, it's it's uh, serious. So, um, so we're starting off here. Ryan's going for starting with that Darkrai and, I, and Dino. I'm not sure what else he, that he's uh, I think it's the second Darkrai. So, uh, that is the glariest N. Yeah, I know. The glare is pretty terrible. Uh, and as, as I was also complaining about people still playing eels, we have people still playing fighting with Dinos. And I feel like I, I could see maybe if there's a split, but we don't, I don't know that we've, we don't have that information yet. Yeah, that's the problem. You have yeah. Both well, your dinos, dinos are not like two different types. Yeah. But at, le at least the, the dragon one has dark, uh, that growl attack, so that's... Very interesting. A very yeah. good attack. Now, Ryan passes without playing energy. Yeah, that's very uh, that's so, get, it's so unfortunate. <laughs> you want to get energy to play as soon as possible. Threaten, but possible. Yeah. Uh, the, other, the other thing that uh, 
Ryan is missing out on here is the fact that, oh, uh, with, with a Psychic Resistant Dino, even if you put the Dark Knight to him, uh, or cat, catch it out, damage it, whatever, I'll retrieve it for free. Um, so, um, Andrew Benches, 20XX, and the Ranger, showing that he's playing the double colorless version of the deck, not playing to my knowledge, Ray Quadra. Oh, oh the, the judge has a question. My, my opponent conceded to me. So you get the win? Yes. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, you were busy! <laughs> uh, Judge, judge Greg Sock asks, where's table 27 gone? <laughs> Andrew plays a computer chip. No, I didn't see what he attached to the tornadoes, which was, um... I, I was also distracted. I, I, did we see if he discarded an electric? I don't. I didn't see anything he discarded. I just looked okay. at the screen so I could do a search. So in, in talking about, like, assumptions and stuff, oh, the guy without a playmat is playing all four RDXs. <laughs> yeah. But you never know. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Some people don't like using playmats, and it's cool. I, I'm not, I, I've brought them and forgot them in my car. It happened. Yeah. <laughs> so never, never can tell. Okay. You don't, but I mean, he has no cards in hand and he's playing it immediately. Uh, I, I feel like it's all, it always feels good, like, oh, comp search for Juniper, because I'm just like flashing back to 1999. Okay. Okay. Uh, apparently we've been too quiet in attempts to make sure that the players do not uh oh, okay. never okay, mind. So you're good. Just kidding, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. Can you guys hear me now? Is it better now? Okay. No. Oh. Andrew gets a second dynamo with the play, which is good because you want to get your yeah. legends evolved as soon as possible. Getting dynamo or energy into play. And you already want to outspace this deck and prevent Ryan from getting hydrated yeah. to play. And he plays a switch, and then his double call is on the 20 FCX. There's no stadium in play, so I'll blow with you with 30 damage. What's nice about the 30 is that if uh, if Andrew's playing Rayquaza EX and there's an Eevee light on that Dark Cry later, it won't matter. It, uh, it forces a an, an ineffective Max Potion. No, Ryan Rick can't even hide it and then plays it in. That's, um, that's pretty good. It's a very good opening, but I'm mean, gonna turn to you. But yeah. now what Ryan wants to do is get energy into play. Yeah, that is the big thing. He wants to have energy into play. He wants to be able to attack. It, I absolutely agree. At, at least a single energy at this point yeah. just means that you can get that dark right out of there. <laughs> yeah, May maybe do something with the sable eye. You, you, you end up sacrificing the sable eye, and you have a dark patch. You can. Uh, not lose that tempo. <coughs> now, the previous turn, Andrew benched the second music. Do you think that was um, the right thing, or do you think discarding would be better, knowing that uh, Ryan could play Mewtwo on his own and if, actually side drive? Yeah, Ryan can side drive, but at the same time, like you're you're not 100 percent there playing the blends, yeah. I guess. And then there's also the fact that oh, if uh, Ryan ends up in a bad spot where he's forced to bench the Me Too, maybe Andrew can capitalize on it. Um, if Andrew's not playing Revive or Super Rod, he, that, that might be his last Me Too. Uh, we, we don't know. We also don't know what Andrew saw on no. his comp search. Yeah. So if, if he knows, oh, I need two Me Too to make it to this, this game because of the way my deck works, and once prized, I don't, can't deal with being too deep in the prizes. Now Andrew evolves one of the um, time of uh, I'm not sure how much energy, if any, are in the discard pile. I, I really team. disagree with that in the longer play. You, you need that bench spot. I, I, I like having a guy through your street, don't get me wrong. But you really need it for another heal. Yeah. You want to get as many electrics in the play, he would die in mode of the Yeah. Get as many energy as possible. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, for all we know, two time was surprised, but that's so doubtful. And I knew that. I don't think the Amol is gonna do anything with you. No, it, it it retreats for free, which means that oh, there's a knockout. I send it in. I dyn I can I can play a new Pokemon and Dynamo to them, despite having had a full bench. 
which is whatever. I'm not. I'm not thrilled with this. You're probably already playing a high switch count. It's super flus. Power Blast for 100. Okay. Thank you. I didn't get to see what he described the piece of play and we were being distracted. But um, you get to the second watch you get to play. <laughs> There is uh, energy in the sky, we can describe the ultra ball. Yeah. So there's one electric is what I'm seeing from yeah, Ryan fanning it out there. The attack to this return. Dynamers to the energy. Now, the previous turn. Yes. Um, Ryan had the energy attached um, for the turn, but did retreat the Dark Eye. Do you think that was the better play, leaving the damage Dark Eye up active? I can see, I can understand the merit of that play, but uh, um, it, uh, it makes it makes sure that you have a completely clean one. So if someone has the ability to go for a large knockout, you force them to go for uh, to, to waste damage. Um, Ryan benches another guy now. Another fighting weak one. Yeah. Like these decks don't care that my hair mm -hmm. But, well, I guess one recognizes by playing Tornadoes. One of the weird things I've noticed from talking to some people, especially some people from New York, and is that uh, they, they pre-ordered cards before the set was out, or they ordered cards immediately after the set uh, hit pre-leases, and they just never received them in the mail. And uh, it, it makes me wonder if our region will have significantly different uh, results for what top fours compared to other places. The fact that Keldeo Blastoise won yesterday in New York, Pennsylvania s sends a signal that maybe it maybe doesn't matter. But then then you wonder to yourself, well, did it win because not a lot of other things showed up or whatever from the new set? But there was, there was also a lot of Landorus yesterday, so those that people were affected. There's a lot of people in this one. Yeah. There's a lot of decks that just circle and try to beat each other. Yeah. He has the max vision. Another way to not retreating the dark right? He yeah. Max vision all the damage instead of just some of it. Yeah. I think Max Potion was a big sleeper because when it when it came out, it wasn't terrible, but it really wasn't like it had a strong fit in any deck. And then uh, we saw the strong Nats performance with uh, Max Potion and Eels and Kling Clang. And then even at Worlds, the Dark Ride X started playing yeah, Max Potion yeah. themselves. I know that uh, a bunch of players also even just running regular potions, and we've seen that in some of the Japanese lists from the Poison Hypnotic Beam format. It's not worth dignifying that format with another card title. <laughs> Not being attacked. So it, it, look, it looks like Andrew's just not playing the the fire energy to the right process. He He's instead just playing electric energy yeah, and yeah. double fire. So that I think that's a, a benefit for Ryan because he's not going to be able, short of investing in a Muto, he can't overcome these dark lives in one shot. Which leaves room for Ryan to make a big yeah, right, right. Ryan can just take his time, get. You know, Buy some time with max potions. If necessary, sacrifice a stable eye and a dark for two more max potions. <laughs> Not only that, Dark Ray is very good with the matchup. The 90 HP really holds that yeah. card back. It really helps Dark Ray in this matchup. And knowing that Andrew's not going to get any more electric so that's for me. Yeah. Because he has the emotional damage. If, if things go Ryan's way, it just becomes, oh, I choose a turn in which I knock out two eels. Yeah. To be able to put the ceiling on what your opponent can possibly do is so so powerful. Yeah. 
Andrew politely showing his hand on that. I like that. It's classy. Most players just need to discard it. Yeah. Just make like your opponent oh. want to check it. I mean, either, I guess, make them want to check it or hope they're bad, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> now he has to switch to retreat to, um, to go to Moga and then Dynamo to Tornadoes. <laughs> and you know, having the free retreat option. And he has a second Dynamo to the Mewtwo. Okay, telling Ryan if he wants to switch to Mewtwo, yeah, he's been tried. <laughs> yeah. Power, power blessing for the knockout because there's still no stadium in play. Now Ryan's still not in a bad position. He can easily make this game come, like, come back into this game. That is a play. <laughs> now, I'm probably going to get a night. It's probably going to get a night spin. So many blends. Yeah. It's not fun when you have to have a few more blends. Yeah. Oh, dark and discard. And oh, he has to discard. Discarded a dark patch and a, and a blend. <laughs> I can't see, but how many buttons is that on the deck right Uh, I, th I think it's... T no, there's a blend in hand, a blend in discard, a blend on dark cry. Okay. And blend in deck because of the... you just saw it in the search. Okay. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, so I don't know why he didn't discard dark instead of that blend. Now, see what's really good about him is nothing on him before he can cut him over. Yeah. So you can sit there We're and psychic <laughs> until a knockout. And it's uh it's week two psychic. Yeah, not, not electric. Not electric like the old one. Oh gosh, so you just jump right away that other one. So there's there's two blends so in circulation. In there's one, one in deck one in play and that he's gonna get to uh attack the Sigla and he's not gonna get to do much with uh Hydra in this game. The Hydrogen's a very good back if he gives three put the yeah. on, say, the Tornado CX or the Mewtwo. It sets up a knockout for Dragon Blast for the Hydrogen. Yeah. And, and 140 knocks out so many things. It's going to, well, because of weakness, it'll knock out the Hydrogen again. It's going to knock out Blastoise. It's going to knock out Kling Clang if for some reason that shows up. Another thing is, we don't know, but Andrew could be playing Zekar and yeah, switch one shots Hydrogen and one hit. Well, one shots Hydrogen. Mm, true, yeah. So. Maybe attacking with Hydrogen would be the safest thing, but it's an option. It, yeah, it, I, I agree completely. Yeah, because I, I know it, it's so so tough to be in the seat, the eel seat, and be staring down two Hydreigons, one that's on the bench and one that's beating your face in. Yeah. Now he sends up the Sigurd. He's going to select it for uh, 70. It's conservative. It's yes. good. He can't, the Sigurd can't be known. His engine really wants to be power enough on electric. Um, it's not going to be much use except the electric uh, night, uh, night spear, so yeah. he's in a very and good position now. Yeah, and the, there's the, the unfortunate fact that, like, oh, you use your catcher to not completely lose a turn, but well, then what? Do you hit something and not knock it out? Does yeah. a max potion make you lose the turn instead? Exactly. I think it's more time to get more energy into play yeah. and build up more momentum. And the, the, the single of three energies are safe. It's not like he's going to catch into something else with energy. So he's not losing any energy in play, and... and now it's showing that the bench in the is really a very big risk because now he can't deal with it. Yeah. I think it's unfortunate too that like, oh, but even having that bunch stable, I just turns it into, oh cool, I'm, I'm at five prizes, I'm going to go to four, and then we're going to knock out two EXs, and that's going to be the end of the game. Now, what Ryan could do is he can catch her around the damage tornadoes is the main two. And not knock them out, leaving the bench filled and just setting up future knockouts. Just take night spear knockouts, and where the signal just won't be knocked out, and just damaging everything. So yeah. it's it's really oh, if you can hit for that 140 for the for the night spear on a Mewtwo, oh, I'll, I'll draw three prizes in return. Yeah, so so sick. What would you do if you were an egg dealing with the cigarettes right now? Uh, I, part, part of me says it depends on exactly what you're doing with your list. I think catcher's too good to not run four in eels, so that, that comes into the equation. Uh, if, if I went four catcher, I'm, oh, I'm definitely going to go around it for the prize. I don't know what I do about it for the second turn, though. 
right? Like, oh, I can the I can hit it with any electric for 50, and then what is he going to do? He's going to hit me for 80 with psychic, and then I'll knock him out. Uh, that's that's one possibility. Another possibility is that Ryan uh, burns a max potion to prevent the 50, and my, puts puts my electric to 80. I can uh, dynamo it to the other one. Retreat. On the, now, unfortunately, I've opened myself up to that nice. night spear window. So it's something to it's do. It's a very, it's a very, it's a very yeah. tough position now. Most people in their hydrogen decks cut Sigla in favor of just running Mewtwo and other decks. Yeah. But Sigla is a very powerful card because most decks don't play many non EX attackers. And their non EX attackers are mainly like energy, like Blastoise. And it just puts them at risk for that to get knocked out by Hydrogen. I think it's also a, f a factor that a lot of people aren't playing. Uh, there's, there's a Dragon Weight Dino, thank you. Deep Growl. Yeah. Uh, I also like that Dino can kill other Dinos and Gabites and stuff. But uh, what I what I like about Sigilyph is that you can level ball for it. But a lot of people have cut level ball like, oh, Ultra Ball is just so good discarding the darks. Computer Search is out now too. Does playing Computer Search or Skylar make you want to play the level ball? Maybe, but at the same time, oh, the Comp Search also gets Sigilyph, so whatever. Well, so even though you are discarding these dark energies, setting up your dark batch plays, but you are still discarding resources and cards in your hand, which yeah. could come back to bite you. I, I agree. It's it's that thing of like, oh, sometimes you can turn the cost into a benefit, but sometimes it's, it's a cost. Yeah. Ryan plays it. Um, he's still in a very favorable position, that's, that's even though he's down in prices. Yeah. It's his third or fourth end, though. I think it's unfortunate to have to burn one of your later ends when your opponent's still at four prizes. Yeah. That's not the format. Is your, your supporters are using Juniper and you're either discarding it or you're playing it. So it's not much you really can yeah, do. Yeah, it's, it's kind of strange because like, oh, so Juniper, I'm, oh, I lose the end. And I lose the end. Bianca is reduced in its functionality because I have the end in my hand. Yeah. So it's it's not that. And then Sharon's just mediocre all around. Yeah. But he's reliable. <laughs> And now, with the addition of Skyla, you have like a safer. If you need a certain card, yeah. Skyla gets you that card that you need. You don't have to play this board if you don't have to dig. For, if you're digging for one card, you don't have to play. You play the Skyla and get that one card. Yeah. And even in the, the versatility of Skyla, you can get a supporter over Skyla if you're having a supporter job. Yeah. I think we're probably better off that Skyla was not around when Smeargle was in the in the picture. <laughs> Smeargle's a very powerful card, and it looks like. Ryan's going to Night Spear. Okay. Now, how do you feel about targeting down the electric now? Uh, I don't. I don't know that I think something's like guaranteed and wrong with it. Whatever. I don't. I don't know that it's the route I would go. I think I would. I would try. To just oh, let's let's do things with Sigilov. Like for for all Ryan knows, Andrew does not have a way around it. Like. Even conceivably, just puts Andrew into a position of, oh, I'm so desperate to get around this thing, I will make make suboptimal moves. And okay, cool, give give him the chance to make mistakes. Not only that, he's taking the energy off of Sigil, so he has to and deal he, with Sigil. He didn't have the Evil Light on Sigil either, which I kind of disagree with. Like, okay, so now it becomes like, oh, Amolga doesn't do anything. The the two shotting from the Electric that I described earlier is no longer. Yeah, it's now a three shot. Which okay, cool. So you have to throw. Two, I got two guys into my non-EX attacker and pray I don't have a max potion. Like, come on, give me a break, that's terrible. Yeah, and you can always junk on for the max potion. You can always junk on for the max potion, yeah. And now that Ryan has a ton of energy in play, he's at the same point, I'm enough time to get energy in play. You can afford to give up save wise for yeah, the max the, potion. Yeah, the, the timing too is crazy because it's like, oh, I'll take the 30, I'll retreat for free, I'll send in the save wise, I'll get back to max potion, I'll give a max potion, a second card. And then, oh, sure, you end it back into the deck. My odds are just improved of getting it. And what do you have to do? Oh, you can either take the Sableye knockout, or you can what, ca catch her from Sigilyph to do the 30 and hope that after you end me, I don't get it back. Like, that's, that's terrible. And then you still might need a third catcher to finish the job. Like, oh, no, cool. that Ryan's only taking one prize. So, even though he is behind in the he's in a very favorable position. So. Yeah. Now this is the time to see 
whether or not. Andrew is playing a uh, card that can deal with Seymour. Yeah. Other thing we notice here too is that Andrew is capped with his Mewtwo's. He cannot attach more energies yeah. to them without Sigla being able to catch him, or catch yeah. Sigla for the knockout. Uh, he's playing an Ultra Ball. Let's see what he has in his deck. If he has a few deal with Sigla. Take uh, another round. He could play a uh, Thunders. Thunders doesn't one shot it, but it does more damage it than does something. Yeah. yeah. I see a. Uh, I think the vote. If you want. Uh, oh, that could. Yeah. So that that'll get him going places. Hopefully he has the double colors in hand so it goes it goes live sooner. Yeah. With the with the double colors it's pretty problematic for Sigloff because you get oh yeah. Sigloff. Not only that, even without him, you are hitting the Dark Rush for one twenty to try forcing the max version. Yeah. But I, I feel like against the Sigloff, right? So it's gonna be oh normally I do eighty and I'm gonna two shot you with uh buffer, but instead I'm gonna be three shotting you. Okay, so Andrew's gonna get some damage onto that Dark Rai. So normally it'd be 120. And it's 80. Mm -hmm. So, uh. He's gonna get the knockout on that Dark Rai with uh, Buffalo Hunt, which is great. It's a. Th this is where, as Andrew, I, I have to check Ryan's discard to check oh, how many max potions are in there. Because you don't want to. Oh well. Ryan's going after the Buffalo, which is great. Uh, you don't want to try and do something with Buffalo uh, on the Sigilith and then miss your chance to get the two prizes from Darkrai. No, not only this. If Andrew does not play another Nadia attack. He runs out of catches. I'm not sure how many he's used for it. I'm pretty sure he's used at least two. Where he would need to get one shots off these catches to save the game. Otherwise, Sigma would just wall him out. So, one of the other things about having a low number of reels in play is that you're, you, go, you can't go really big with the Mewtwo's really quickly. You can't go and say, oh well, I'll, uh, you know triple dynamoter. So I went from the three energy where Sigla couldn't one shot me. So now all of a sudden I'm I'm uh, at six energy, uh, three energy on them, the plus attach for a turn, I can now kill a dark a fully powered dark ride. Not only that you can only have one eel, but you still need energy in your hand to keep attacking. Yeah. And you keep moving in. And in this late in the game where N can really devastate you can tell Heinz played a couple of M's where N devastate your hand and you can't get the energy to play you miss an attack. Yeah. But Andrew's playing in a position where he, ha he has one um, bench shot and only one electric in play. And that's the deal with Sigla. Yeah. So, it's either you put down the 90 second deal with Sigla and then get rid of Sigla. I, I, would, I would feel deeply for Andrew in this situation if I were to find out that he was playing uh, Electros and it was priced. <laughs> that, oh, that, that, would, that would be really hard. That would be today's tragedy story. So if he has a catcher, oh, but Ryan's not an explosion. <laughs> Get out of here, damage counters. Well, not only that, um, the Dark Ray in the bench still has 80 damage. 80 damage. Right? But it also has an Evil Light, which means Tornadus can't deal with it. Yeah, he would need a Tool Scrapper if he, he already played one earlier. Yeah. So he needs to be the It's play unlikely second. he plays two. He might have he might have a way to get uh, Buffalo back with a Super Rider revive perhaps, but very doubtful there's a second Buffalo in there. Uh, even even doubtful that he'd play I don't know, the Spursha or whatever. <laughs> well, we already played the turn, he played the Buffalo. Maybe he does play. Maybe, maybe he does play it. Can't rule out the option. Can't, oh, can't rule out the option. I would expect. You would but normally expect the sky it's, it's almost dead. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's almost dead at this point anyway, though, which is the unfortunate thing. Um, also, notable is that we haven't seen a Raikou EX from Andrew. Oh, so that would really come in handy. So if you know I Andrew's Andrew's mental process changes completely, if he knows it's prized, like oh, if I can draw two prizes off an EX knockout, I'm 50/50 to have the Raikou, which sort of deals with Sigilith. 
like, oh, Sigliff is going to, what, three shot? No, four shot me? <laughs> okay. And, oh, I, I say I say three shot. Really, someone else is probably going to do a little bit of killing blow on Raikou because you're going to go 50-50, 90-30 oh, with uh, Night Spear. I can't see how much damage is actually on the tornado, but um, if it, it looks like a hundred. I'm I'm looking at the table and I'm not looking at the uh, stream. If it is a hundred, I'm not sure. It could set up a war prize turn on the turns and the map. Oh, we got the zoom technology. Yeah, looks like a hundred. Yeah, and uh, I believe the signal attacked me too and left it on 10 HP. So. I'm just thinking like the meme things with like CSI where they zoom in until it's just something totally ridiculous. <laughs> like you zoom, you zoom, zoom in into Tornadus's eye, and then you can see like the reflection of the player. <laughs> like, oh, okay. So now Ryan's in a position where catch with him in the game, taking this rise on the train stance, and then the thirty knocking out the two from the bench. Yeah. <laughs> Wowzers. So I feel like uh, the lesson for people watching at home is you cannot, cannot, cannot show up playing eels without max potions or potions that something. Uh, not only will Landorus put you in bad positions, not only will Landorus partner up with Darkrai to give you nightmares, uh, you'll, you'll have a bad day against uh, Hydreigon builds. Yeah, Ryan is his card pretty big. It looks like he is... I'm just going to draw the catcher. Yeah, he gets to see the starts big, which means that Sableye just gets it for him in a different way. Doesn't get it for him immediately, but it gets him there. And with, with Andrew having four prizes, oh, cool. Enjoy dark energy. I'll get back two catchers. I'll get back your catcher and a uh, random receiver, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shame that didn't catch There's a catcher left there. Sky Skyla. So Skyla the catcher. catcher. Knocking out the tornado send the YouTube. Time is called. Ryan, Ryan takes the game. Handshake. Ryan takes this game. <laughs> Sigleth bringing him back. The slow start. Sigleth bottom of time to get Andrew to play. And then Andrew not having the answer to Sigleth. I, I'm curious to anyone out there who, who played either of these decks uh, this weekend. How does how does watching this match influence uh, your, your list choices in the future? Or does it not really matter at all? No, I think I really think the Emolga is what really hurt Andrew. I think, I think the Emolga was in the wrong place, which was on the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I don't, I don't hate him in the deck. I'm not, I'm not that. I, I, I played him for a while. I, I liked it. Uh, I, kn I know a bunch of people, Ty, Ty Smith, Sam Chen, etc., were, were doing the Victini thing, and I, I ended up switching over to that for regionals. And I preferred the Victini to the Emolga because I could search it. And, and drop it when I had a different start. And I, I could still get that uh, tempo advantage against the Dark Rai Dragon without having to start with it, which is so good. Sure, you're, you're playing the Force Switch anyway, but whatever, it's just so good. 